Queen's Carriage is next, ahead of Ecclesiastical being pushed along, and Shelley Banks under pressure behind those in seventh as they race down with a furlong and a half to race. And it's Strong Johnson, the leader. Lipizzaner presses towards the far side. The highway rat now moves up on the outer under Chris Hayes. Dandy Spirit tries to run on behind those and then Queen's Carriage racing down inside the final furling at Strong Johnson being taken on the outside in the centre of the track now by the highway rat and Chris Hayes who goes on by a length, length and a half up inside the final 50 yards. The highway rat's going to win the opener by about two lengths and the uncomfortably from Lipizzaner, Strong, Jill, Strong Johnson. Ecclesiastical kept on behind those head of Dandy Spirit, Shelley Banks. Queen's Carriage last of the seven. Queen's Carriage is next, ahead of Ecclesiastical being pushed along, and Shelley Banks under pressure behind those in seventh as they race down with a furlong and a half to race. And it's Strong Johnson, the leader. Lipizzaner presses towards the far side. The highway rat now moves up on the outer under Chris Hayes. Dandy Spirit tries to run on behind those, and then Queen's Carriage racing down inside the final furlong at Strong Johnson being taken on the outside in the centre of the track now by the highway rat. And Chris Hayes, who goes on by a length, length and a half up inside the final 50 yards. The highway rat's going to win the opener by about two lengths and the uncomfortably from Lipizzaner, Strong Shell. Strong Johnson, Ecclesiastical kept on behind those, head of Dandy Spirit, Shelley Banks, Queen's Carriage, last of the seven. Towards the two and a half furlong point. And it's Al Hajjaj being ridden, leads, but I know I can coming back to challenge now towards the centre with face to puck out on the outside of that duo. Mishar makes ground on the inside, followed towards the outer by both War Hero and Irish Acclaim and Daniel King on the wide outside. Heading down inside the final furlong, and it's Misha over on the far side with the advantage for Sam Ewing. Viv Vance coming one off the rail. Irish Acclaim widest of all, racing inside the final 150 yards. It's Misha on the far side. Irish Acclaim tackles him on the stand side. Misha and Irish Acclaim up to the line. Misha by a length from Irish Acclaim and Viv Vance second and third. Intend kept on nicely before, ahead of Mutiny 5. I know I can, and face the puck out next towards the two and a half furlong point. And it's Al Hajjaj being ridden, leads, but I know I can coming back to challenge now towards the centre with face to puck out on the outside of that duo. Mishar makes ground on the inside, followed towards the outer by both War Hero and Irish Acclaim and Daniel King on the wide outside. Heading down inside the final furlong and it's Mishar over on the far side with the advantage for Sam Ewing. Viv Vance coming one off the rail. Irish Acclaim widest of all, racing inside the final 150 yards. It's Mishar on the far side. Irish Acclaim tackles him on the stand side. Mishar and Irish Acclaim up to the line. Mishar by a length from Irish Acclaim and Viv Vance second and third. Intend kept on nicely before, ahead of Mutiny 5. I know I can and face the puck out next. The hoop jacket of California Poppy is next with Bears Hug, wider out on the track, followed then by Dandyville, and behind those is Avila. Wide open race as they enter the straight and down towards the two, and as Ramon Deloria in the centre comes through to lead, being quickly tackled now by Shane Kelly on Puerto de Vega. Towards the far side, Bros the Empress with Resourceful Man keeping on one off the rail, Avila towards the inside, but racing down inside the final furling, it's Puerto de Vega and Ramon Deloria who go on. By a length of two to Resourceful Man, Abla staying on behind those dandy villains for Cedric, but it's Puerto de Vega with the advantage to head inside the final 50. Puerto de Vega and Shane Kelly hold on to win by a neck from Ramon Dolori in second. Sir Cedric kept on to be possibly third on the outside in a close call with Resourceful Man. Dandyville was next. The hoop jacket of California Poppy is next with Bears Hug, wider out on the track, followed then by Dandyville and behind those is Abla. Wide open race as they enter the straight and down towards the two. And as Ramon Deloria. In the centre comes through to lead, being quickly tackled now by Shane Kelly on Puerto de Vega. Towards the far side, Bros the Empress with Resourceful Man keeping on one off the rail. Abla towards the inside, but racing down inside the final furling, it's Puerto de Vega and Rama Delori who go on by a length of two to Resourceful Man. Abla staying on behind those dandy villains for Cedric, but it's Puerto de Vega with the advantage to head inside the final 50. Puerto de Vega and Shane Kelly hold on to win by a neck from Rama Delori in second. Sir Cedric kept on to be possibly third on the outside. In a close call with Resourceful Man, Dandyville was next. They're followed by River Eden, who travels well behind those. Alpine Sierra being ridden along ahead of Captain Atwood, but hitting to the straight. Less than two furlongs to race, and the Chicago Blackhawk with the lead. River Eden coming there very strongly under Declan McDonough, and that one's outside. Captain Atwood in a barging match with Bontemont on the inside rail. But it's River Eden and Declan McDonough have quickened to the front. And racing down inside the final furnace, River Eden has gone right away, impressed in a barrier trial here two weeks ago, and is going to impress even more on its track debut. River Eden sprints clear to win this by half a dozen lengths or more at the end. Second, Captain Atridge, third, Alpine Sierra, Bontois, four, Irish Chief and Chicago Blackhawk next. They're followed by River Eden, who travels well behind those. Alpine Sierra being ridden along ahead of Captain Atwood, but heading to the straight. Less than two furlongs to race, and the Chicago Blackhawk with the lead. River Eden coming there very strongly under Declan McDonough, and that one's outside. Captain Atwood in a barging match with Bontemont on the inside rail. But it's River Eden and Declan McDonough have quickened to the front. 
And racing down inside the final furlings, River Eden has gone right away, impressed in a barrier trial here two weeks ago, and is going to impress even more on its track debut. River Eden sprints clear to win this by half a dozen lengths or more at the end. Second, Captain Atheridge, third Alpine Sierra, Bonfois for Irish Chief and Chicago Blackhawk next. Third on the inside race is Boasty with four behind those Maestro Stick. Tribute to Jade in the green jacket is next in the field. Followed then by Wrist Art with behind those Phillies Hope tries to get into contention. Towards the outside is Nayland who's making ground out of Alpine Peak. But inside the two, it's Tanseek in the centre with the advantage from on the far side, Boasty. These two go on now by a length or so to Maestro Stick in third. Ristart 4 and Zahi keeping on behind those. Racing down inside the final furling, it's Tanseek with the advantage from Boasty. Zahi coming, coming strong on the outside now for Don O'Connor. Racing well inside the final furling and it's Tanseek but being headed close home by Zahi and Zahi gets up to win it by half a length from Tanseek. Court of Appeal stayed on from a long way back to be third. Third on the inside race is Boasty with four behind those Maestro Stick. Tribute to Jade in the green jacket is next in the field. Followed then by Wrist Art with behind those Phillies Hope tries to get into contention. Towards the outside is Nayland who's making ground out of Alpine Peak. But inside the two, it's Tanseek in the centre with the advantage from on the far side, Boasty. These two go on now by a length or so to Maestro Stick in third. Ristart 4 and Zahi keeping on behind those. Racing down inside the final furling, it's Tanseek with the advantage from Boasty. Zahi coming, coming strong on the outside now for Don O'Connor. Racing well inside the final furling, and it's Tanseek but being headed close home by Zahi, and Zahi gets up to win it by half a length from Tanseek. Court of Appeal stayed on from a long way back to be third. So as they head towards this, head into the straight past the two, and in the centre of the track, it's Ecliptic Moon being joined now by Cabell with Colonel Slade boxing on on the inside of those two. Towards the far side is designer Colleen. Heading down inside the final furlong, and it's Ecliptic Moon and Sam Ewing has come through on the outside to lead. From in second place, Colonel Slade trying to get through is Caesar's Comet, but it's Ecliptic Moon is out in front by a length of two and under Sam Ewing. So as they head towards this, head into the straight past the two, and in the centre of the track, it's Ecliptic Moon being joined now by Cabell with Colonel Slade boxing on on the inside of those two. Towards the far side is designer Colleen. Heading down inside the final furlong, and it's Ecliptic Moon and Sam Ewing has come through on the outside to lead. From in second place, Colonel Slade trying to get through is Caesar's Comet, but it's Ecliptic Moon is out in front by a length of two and under Sam Ewing. Third switch to the inside now is Bula Bula. They're being followed by Raleigh with Yuko Valley on that was outside. Racing down inside the two and Malawi being tackled now by Safecracker who comes to take it up. Bula Bula boxing on next to the rail. They're followed by Raleigh and Yuko Valley out in the centre of the track. But racing down inside the final furling at Safecracker who's out in front. Two to three lengths in front wandering off a true line but is out three to four lengths in front of Bula Bula in second Malawi and Raleigh staying on. But up the line is Safecracker going to win this for Johnny Martin, Shane Kelly, a double for them. Raleigh stayed on to be second out of Malawi in third four was Bula Bula out of Yuko Valley and Carrie Rose who made up some late progress. Who made some late progress. Third switch to the inside now is Bula Bula. They're being followed by Raleigh with Yuko Valley on that was outside. Racing down inside the two and Malawi being tackled now by Safecracker who comes to take it up. Bula Bula boxing on next to the rail. They're followed by Raleigh and Yuko Valley out in the centre of the track. But racing down inside the final furling at Safecracker who's out in front. Two to three lengths in front wandering off a true line. But is out three to four lengths in front of Bula Bula in second Malawi and Raleigh staying on. But up the line is Safecracker going to win this for Johnny Martin, Shane Kelly, a double for them. Raleigh stayed on to be second out of Malawi in third four was Bula Bula out of Yuko Valley. And Carrie Rose who made up some late progress. Who made some late progress. Might need a little bit of luck and running, but as they head into the straight and down past the two, Fallen Forest is the leader by about a length. Storm steps in second. Book of Verse is next. They're followed towards the outside by Annie City. Shatter Musaris, which right off the rail coming to the outside, tracking through time and money, who's making ground and Sam Missile, widest of all. Wide open races ahead inside the final furlong on the far side. Fallen Forest is still there, but it's time and money who's coming through on the outside to join issue. Between them is Storm Steps, and on the outside, Sam Missile. Time and money and Sam Missile up to the line. Time and money wins it. Sam Missile, Fallen Forest, close for second and third. 
might need a little bit of luck and running. But as they head into the straight and down past the two fallen forests is the leader by about a length. Storm steps in second. Book of Verse is next. They're followed towards the outside by Annie City. Shatter Musaris, which right off the rail coming to the outside, tracking through time and money, who's making ground and Sam Missile, widest of all. Wide open races ahead inside the final furling on the far side. Fallen Forest is still there, but it's time and money who's coming through on the outside to join issue. Between them is Storm Steps, and on the outside, Sam Missile. Time and money and Sam Missile up to the line. Time and money wins it. Sam Missile, Fallen Forest, close for second and third.